Hello, my name is Andrew from Clubcard, and today I'd like to go over how to create proper separations for embossing. We'll be working within Illustrator, and so the first thing that we need to do is create our artboard. So we go File New, and then we'll name our uh, file Embossed eCard, and then the purport, or we'll be working within business card proportions, which are three and a half inches by two inches with a eighth inch bleed. Um, our color mode is CMYK and our raster effects are set to 300 dpi. Now that we have our artboard, we're ready to lay out our, uh, our artwork. For the purpose of this video, we already have artwork prepared, so I'm going to bring in the front side of our business card first. And here's the front side of our artwork. And what we'll do is we'll go to our layers, and we'll name this layer Front CMYK. The next thing that we need to do is uh, show what is going to be embossed. To indicate the embossed um, layer, we use 100% black ink on a separate layer. Uh, the section we want embossed on this card is the uh, club card piece character in the center of the card. So what we have done is created um, an exact copy of the character and made it 100% black ink um, to indicate that. So what I'll do is create a new layer and we'll call it front embossed and I will bring in the uh, embossed artwork. This is what the embossed layer is going to look like. So if we turn off the uh, front CMYK layer, all it is is the piece character in 100% black ink. So as you can see, the embossed and uh, CMYK layers are well, they're on their own layers. Now what I'm going to do is bring in the artwork for the back of the business card. So again, we'll create a new layer and we'll call it back CMYK. And here is the back side of the business card. Turn off the other two layers. What we want to keep in mind when looking at the back of the business card is whatever is going to be embossed on the front, which is this character, will be debossed on the back. So you can see this will be debossed. But you also have to remember that it'll be a mirrored image when you're looking at it. So it'll look like this on the back side. Things that you want to look out for are uh, keeping text and important artwork away from the embossing just because it can distort the, uh, the appearance of the artwork. As you can see, nothing's interacting with the embossing, so it looks like we're all good. We should probably save our, um, our work before we lose anything. So save as, and we'll leave it as an Illustrator file for our editable version. Save. Our final step is going to be um, saving each layer as its own separate PDF. So the first thing we'll do is save the embossed layer as its own PDF. Go uh, save as PDF and we'll call this front embossed. Save. And you want to make sure that it's set to do not down, down sample and uh, trim marks and bleed and everything else should be fine. Save PDF. And this is what our PDF file looks like. So we just need to do that two more times now, and we'll go to the front of the card and go save as, save as PDF, and we'll call this front CMYK, save, and again 
compression, do not down sample, mark some bleeds, have your trim marks on, and save PDF. And this is what the front looks like. So we'll do that one more time for the back. Save as PDF and name this back CMYK. And one last time, do not downsample and have your marks and bleeds on. And that's the back. I'll show you one more time what all the PDFs look like. So this is our embossed um, PDF for the front. This is our front CMYK layer PDF. And this is our back PDF. And there you go. We've got files set up for embossing and ready to send off to print. We hope this video has been helpful and uh, if you're ready to place an order you can look in the tutorials below for discount codes. Don't forget to check out Club Card TV for more video tutorials and uh, print with Club Card. Thanks.